we go. Back into another siege battle. Just can't help but kind of want to throw the recording on when we get into a Reginopolis map. I just love this map. Win or lose, always enjoy it. But anyway, we shall go for the win. We're on the defensive. Um, let's see if we can get on a little bit of artillery as that mortar is going to land right on me. <laughs> and now I'm on fire. Um, lovely. Have a, little, have a little go with the Scorpio though, if nothing else. We, can, we, can, we, can we murder some peasants as another mortar lands on us? Someone really doesn't like us on the other side. <laughs> Do those peasants not set on fire? I feel slightly harsh. Whenever my peasants get hit by a Scorpio, they all immediately burn to death. I'm sort of half keeping an eye on the mini map to make sure nothing's going underneath us, because it does obviously have the tunnel underneath Reggie, but I've not seen anything really go in the tunnel. It doesn't look like anything's going down there. I'm trying to get this camera to work is a bit of a nightmare, but look, you can't really see anything coming in. You can normally see, because that's normally the staging area there before they push up into the other area, you know, through the doors. Um, there was actually a guy, look at the back. These Janissaries are going to walk right into him. There he is, with a long sword. Well, we called the unit to me. What's he got? Oh, he's got some Dimachari. Got to be careful with these guys. They're actually quite damaging. As he knocks me off my horse, which isn't ideal. Let's hop round. Let's go cover commander on. Prefecture drill mode. Let's try and just pin this guy down and pin. Break up shields. Don't get away. Come on. Come back here, you swine. Let's go for my horse. We'll keep the guard and cover commander. No point in healing there, mate. That's not going to help you. Oh, he's just ran back the other way. Come back here, you swine. There we go. And we got him. Nice. Well, that's one full unit dead. Prefecture Guard earning their worth already. Probably going to end up having a separate video on these guys because they're quite interesting, particularly with the mastery uh, changes that have been introduced to them. And they're a really sort of dominant unit at Tier 3. A lot of people use them for understandable reasons, particularly once you get the uh, unit tree nodes unlocked as well. So, yeah, a unit will probably cover. Now, I'm noticing... They've got quite a lot of stuff um, pushing it on that left side. Um, we'll just have a quick gander at these peasants. I just can't help myself. They don't call me Evo Slayer of Peasants for no reason. Uh, he's just going to leap out of his way. And there he goes. Well, I'm not chasing him out the gate. But I will have some of those free peasant kills. But that's not what I'm thinking. My main thing is thinking all those archers up on the left, they've obviously got grenade throwers as well to throw in. I don't want to push into that because I'm just going to get burnt to death. Let's try and flank them. The gate is still up. That means there's a footpath from this staircase here, which leads basically directly into the back of all those arches. As long as nothing comes up this siege tower here. So, it hasn't got much health. I think we can get over in time. 10%? What could possibly go wrong? Oh god, this is a bit risky. Oh god, there's a not an ideally placed enemy glaive. Come on, kill this guy. That's him dead. Come on. No! My full unit of Prefecture Guard! <laughs> oh no! That is a disaster! Uh, I always knew it was a risky play, but yeah, that didn't that didn't quite pan out, did it? Um, can you leave me alone? Well, at least we got the enemy glaive and we got the full, um, full stack of enemy units. Let's just hide in this staircase here to heal up. Oh! What just killed me? Oh, there was a longsword on the top of the tower. I genuinely didn't notice he was there. Wow, wasn't such a good move. Uh, it was nearly nearly a good move going across that gateway. If it had just held up for like another five seconds, I would have cleared the unit to the other side and just absolutely smashed through those archers. And then we would have just been right into the back of the full set of enemy. You know, could have got all the uh, the coconut boys, the grenade throwers. Oh, would have been glorious. But there we go. It was a risk. It didn't quite pan out. Anyway, what are we going to come back in with? Um, well... Let's just go for these. The, the, the problem with these mace sergeants, they do have good damage, but they are a little bit fragile. Um, and I also found them quite slow. And at tier 3, things tend to be pretty fast-paced in terms of moving around the map. I also find, I don't know if anyone else has found this, that their cover commander is, like, hyper-aggressive. If you put cover commander on with an enemy unit, you know, within 100 metres of you, they'll immediately go full offensive, which is kind of annoying. Um... I know we need to help B, but one more unit is way behind, and I'm just conscious if we all leave, are they just going to push straight to A? I bet we lost B anyway. Mm, I don't think we want to hang around down here. Generally speaking, once the B point has gone on this map, it's kind of back to C. It's pretty whole, hard to hold A unless the whole team does it, and it kind of just doesn't really happen. Generally, it's best just to get back to C, because if you're not careful, 
you'll get rolled on a the bulk of the team will be dead and then you, no one can really set up an efficient defence on um, the C point so it kind of turns into a little bit of a nightmare now, I have noticed the enemy has captured that supply point down the bottom I might go and have a little bit of a look there in a minute depends if they're going to make any sort of rolling push Ooh, have a cheeky little is anyone else there? no there's not I shall have this one poor little mace sergeant who was just a little bit, a little bit too far forwards. Um, is he going to pull back with his mace sergeants there? Hmm. Okay, well let's just recapture this supply point then. I should have probably given, given pursuit there. It could have probably been a bit of a pain with our hero. Caused him some disruption. Um, well, let's wait for this to get captured. And then we'll just head back up the top. At least it gives us a bit of an early warning if any of the enemies start coming up this way. Plus, handy little place to get the unit healed up for the rest of the team. So, which way are they going to come? Doesn't look like they're pushing too far either direction. Might go for a cheeky ballista here. Not particularly because... Oh, they're just going to push straight in, so actually, maybe I won't. Not particularly because it's a good place to put a ballista, but you've got a quest to do it. To unlock the road in, so... <laughs> That's really the reason we want to do it. So let's get this down. Uh, you never know. Could end up getting a, a couple of heroes or two. If nothing else, I shall throw a ballista bolt straight into that unit of shields stood right in front of me. Get a few little bit of extra damage and a few little kills. But up. <laughs> a whopping two kills. Oh, and we're going to get a... Ah. And there goes the ballista. <laughs> so, Woohoo! Two kills. Worth it. Uh, but it's really for the quest. One thing more than anything. Um... God, they've got a lot of, Jesus, a lot of, a lot of range out there. I think the enemy team might have predominantly range and not a lot of infantry. Now, if they make a push on this corner, then I've got my mace sergeant at the back where I can kind of push in from. But while they're waiting to do that, I'm just going to come down and grab another horse. You always need a horse, particularly as a glaive. Horses just become so critical because the horse attack on, on this, this weapon is just, like, one of the best bits about it. I'm going to have a little pop of that musket. Can you see there was a musket on top of the wall up there? I wish they could fix the camera on when you went around these towers. It worked a little bit better. So we've got a friendly mall here as well. Doop. Doop. Ah, oh, I didn't quite get the kill. But anyway, he's dead. He's dealt with. Um, looks like a few people pushing in. Oh, we've got dual blades at the back. Yeah, they've got a unit of shields looking in front of us there. Uh, try and get that dual blades, but no... Uh, I think it's time for the mace sergeants to go in. Let's go straight up to that enemy shield unit in front because the blood damage is really effective. Grab that hero kill, go on with the tour ability, and the mace sergeants should do what they do best. Yeah, look at that. That lovely blood damage absolutely ripping through that shield unit. Nice, 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 nice. Again, we'll probably need to have a proper video on these mace sergeants. I'm kind of just half waiting to see if we're going to get in... Oh, I'm going to end up dying here. Oh, no, he's going to end up dying, not me. Um, we'll kind of see if we're going to get the mastery uh, uh, become available for them, because currently it's still not available actually in the game at the moment. I see it's a reasonably hard defence. They've still got quite a few people coming in to hunt down some of these enemy heroes. I just use my horse to get around and get some damage in. Yeah, it looks like we're driving them out now. Ooh, don't want to go out there. Oh, there goes another horse. <laughs> the horse casualty rate today is. Not been very good. We have lost many. Uh, also, looks like they're pushing in the back slightly. Which we get another hero kill for. Crikey, we're on a hero killing roll. Uh, with our, we'll keep out our little one one mace sergeant can return to safety. <laughs> Let's get ourselves healed up. Nice. Uh, they still haven't captured that bottom supply point, so... No sign that they're coming down this way, although there's a dual blade here. I uh, don't necessarily want to go one-to-one -one with the dual blade when is all we've really got left is uh, <laughs> my territory there to protect us. But it looks like that dual blade is backing off out of the fight, which is fine by me. Should perhaps have grabbed a new unit there. Um, I don't think my one mace sergeant is necessarily going to be contributing all that much. Looks like we're getting enemies back up on top of the wall as well. Are they flanking around this back here as well, though? Short sword here. Uh, there's a little bit of stuff which does distinctly look like it's going this way. Uh, so we could be in a spot of bother. Um, I'm half tempted to go back and get my sons of Fenrir out. 
pull, pull along, sort of immediately shot by arrows as soon as he came around the corner. And then started to look like they're building up a little bit on just a forward push on the C point. Uh, so we've got enemy halberdiers coming in. Oh, that was not a good time to get knocked off my horse. I did not do a particularly good job there. Ugh. And hit by iron caps. Try and sort of provide some assistance just to control this fight with my hero, but taking quite a lot of damage. Could do with backing off to get a bit healed up. Actually, it looks like we've got quite a few enemies pushing in now on the C point. I have got the bandaging rune on, so it does allow me to run and heal, which is quite nice. Um. Yes, it doesn't look quite so good anymore, does it? Let's get him on a horse. Um, or maybe... Oh, I will help kill some of these um, enemy ranged units, though. And then maybe... Can we get you? I'm going to get the kill, but he is dead. Spartacus is no more. Sea point is pretty much done for, so... Let's just try and see if we can hook anyone down on the way out. I think it's really... With the way they're pushing, I think it's time to pull back... Pull back into the final citadel, the final defence, defend the base point. I don't imagine this is going to be particularly easy. We are down on units, which is going to make this quite hard. Still got a few things I can drag out. Um, ah, no staircase. Oh, taking unnecessary horse damage. I always do that on this map. I always forget that the staircase isn't that wide. <laughs> we end up falling off a wall. Um, let's grab these sons of Fenrir out then. Quite a nice unit for final base points sometimes because their manoeuvrability kind of allows you to flank around quite easily, get into different areas, sort of push around the back of shield units and stuff like that, and because they have that such high burst damage. Actually looking like the enemy might just be pushing straight in on base already. Yeah, there they are. We've got more color enemy heroes. got some pre prefetch guards coming in here as well, which is not exactly what I had in mind. Let's get the unit in. Let's get the burst damage on. Try and control the fight at least from this stage so we don't get more enemy units pouring on to base point. Enemy Trebs coming in behind. Ah, oh, those poor sons of Fenrir are just going to get slaughtered. Um, see if we can take down some heroes. Pin this maul down. Flying leap. Oh, he just got out. That's frustrating. Um, I'm going to buff our allied units, but I think we're going to get back on a horse. They've got enemy who've got range set up around the back of that corner, which is what's making it really difficult. Now, I could YOLO in, but I just think that i just going to get myself killed. I could always go like completely round the back. But have we really got time before they're going to start pushing onto base? We've even got a dual blades on base already. Come on. No escape for you. And down you go. Uh, my horse is dead, which is certainly not ideal. Uh, they are really pushing point. Oh, just got to try and control some of these enemy heroes. We really need to get the numbers down. There goes one. There goes two. Oh, we could have do with our flying reaper coming off cooldown. There goes three. It's kind of trying to keep numbers off off point. The real killer is all the enemy range they've got set up in the gateway at the back, which is just firing in on point. Got some friendly artillery getting set up, which is taking down some of their range, which is really nice. And my healing just got interrupted, which is not ideal. I could really do with a horse. Like anything for a, my kingdom for a horse, whatever the saying is. I missed that. Try and get that down. Oh, if I had my Flying Reaper now, that would be perfect. I'm not going to much health. Oh. <laughs> Finally got caught out of position. This does not really bode well for us, I don't think. They're going to start to get cap on point now. They're starting to clear up the last of our heroes as well. I just don't think we're going to be able to pull this one through. We have had nine hero kills, though. <laughs> I think we've actually, for once, we've pulled our weight on this game. Uh, I just I just think the enemies, there's too many, too many numbers there coming in. Unless you can really sort of start to get quite a few of them down and push their range back. I think it's going to be too difficult to do. Oh, and here comes the final bits of caps. Oh, that more will go for the enemy range, which is probably not a bad move. But I think we've just got too many of us dead now. We can't really get on point. That longsword, uh, could have been better off slightly on point. But there we go. Well, it is a crushing defeat, but it was still a really fun game. As I say, Reggie is always a fun map to play on. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know what you think in the comments down below. And of course, subscribe to the channel for lots more Conquered Blade content. See you all on the next one.